In North Carolina and across the United States, traffic-related accidents cause millions of injuries and deaths each year. In February 2006, the Wake Forest Police Department created the Traffic Enforcement Division to promote safety awareness and reduce the number of traffic accidents in our area. Now, just a few months after celebrating its one-year anniversary, the Traffic Enforcement Division's impact is being felt by drivers throughout Wake Forest. Well, traffic accidents impact a lot more people than people really think about. Um, pretty much everybody you either know or met or family, someone you know has had, has had a traffic accident, whether it's minor or severe. Um, basically, traffic accident fatalities are the number one cause of death in the United States. A lot of people think it's you know diseases or stuff like that, but it's not. It's, it's actually motor vehicle accidents, which is actually upsetting because it's something that can be easily avoided. Um, as of, as of an average right now in the United States, we lose about between 50 and 55,000 people a year. So basically, it's almost as many people as we lost during the Vietnam War, we lose every year in traffic accidents. We started a uh, child safety seat program. Um, and we install child safety seats for anybody, any, anybody that would like to come out of the police department. They just have to make an appointment with us and we install seats for them for free. Um, we also do community involvement projects. Um, we've done Safety Day at Chris Lee Chevrolet. Um, we're getting ready to do our second annual one next month. Um, we do promotions all over town, you know, just basically putting out information about traffic safety, seat belt safety, DWI, stuff like that, to make sure that the community, not only are we enforcing traffic laws, but we're also teaching the community on how to be safer. Just for example, a 30 mile an hour accident is like basically pushing your vehicle off of a three story building. So even at 30 miles an hour, which people think is slow, in relative terms it is, it's not, it's not 55 like it is on Capitol. However, a 30 mile an hour accident will kill you. Um, so seat belts are the biggest point. Um, the second point, of course, is not drinking and driving. If you're going to go out and drink, then you have a designated driver. And the third thing is, is just take your time. Uh, the speed is one of the biggest factors in fatality accidents and injury accidents. So driving the speed limit will, will help keep you safe and keep you uninjured. Another big safety issue is, of course, cell phone usage in the cars. Um, a lot of people get distracted dialing phone numbers, answering the phone, get it, basically get uh, basically enveloped in the, con in the phone conversation and forget what they're doing when they're driving. Um, the biggest thing is to, if you're going to use the phone, hands-free devices are, are available now pretty much. They're very cheap for almost every phone that's made. Or when you get to your destination, make the phone call. Um, trying to do two things at once when you're multitasking driving down the road, you know, driving with a knee while you're on the phone and doing other things is just basically going to cause you to draw attention away from the most important thing, which is driving down the road. Although most of the citations issued by traffic enforcement involve traffic-related violations such as speeding and failure to wear a seat belt, that's not always the case. In April 2006, during a routine license and information checkpoint here along South Main Street, the division was involved in a major drug bust where it recovered three grams of cocaine, three grams of crack cocaine, one half pound of marijuana, and a 25 caliber handgun. If your civic group or other community organization would like to schedule a traffic safety presentation, contact the Wake Forest Police Department at 554-6150.